There are many secret tricks in CapCut, including keyframe techniques, creating ultra-wide videos like this one, mastering J-Cut and Del-Cut. These are just a few of the tricks you will learn in this video to edit videos like a pro. Let's start with shortcuts. You will find the shortcuts tab in the upper right corner. Here you have shortcuts for all functions in CapCut that will speed up your editing. If you want, you can customize any shortcuts to your preference. Simply click on the shortcut you want to customize and then add a new key combination. When you are done, click on the save button. Now I'm going to show you two of my favorite shortcuts. Select one clip, then use the shortcut Ctrl plus G and select other clips or anything from the timeline. The selected clips will be grouped together and from there you can move or remove them. The next shortcut is Ctrl plus N. It creates a new project and automatically saves your current work for future access. To help you learn the shortcuts better, I will use them in the rest of the video. The next trick is about how to create ultra-wide videos that automatically add cinematic bars on YouTube. When your device is turned horizontally, you can enjoy ambient mode. First, add your video to the timeline. Click on Ratio and then select this format. Now enlarge the video and then position it as you like. This method works really well. Mr. Who's the Boss also used this method in his videos. After editing, my video looks like this. To export the video, use the shortcut Ctrl plus C and then click on the export button. To download LUTs for free, you need to visit FreshLUTs website. The link is in the video description. On this website, you can find hundreds of completely free LUTs. When you select the LUT on the left side, you can see before and after example, while on the right side, you can download it. After downloading, open CapCut. To add LUTs, click Adjustment, then click LUTs, and then click Import and select LUTs you downloaded. Now click on Open. Click on your video and then on the right side select Adjustment option. Here you can choose the LUTs you added and make adjustment as needed. If you want the skin tones to look as natural as possible in the video, you can use the skin tone protection option. This option can be very useful because it can make color grading easier than ever. A J-Cut is an editing technique where the audio from the next scene precedes the video transition, creating a smooth and gradual shift between scenes. Use Shift plus Z to fit the timeline. Select your videos and then use Ctrl plus Shift plus S to extract the audio. Now split the second video and audio as I did. You need to mark the video and audio, then use Ctrl plus B to split. Adjust the audio of the first video as I did, then remove the beginning of the second video that you split. Now align the audio with the second video and then align the first audio. Now the timeline looks like the letter J. If you want, you can add fade in and fade out to make the transition better. This is how my video sounds now. L-cut is when the audio from the one scene overlaps the video of the next scene. First use W shortcut to remove the right part of the first video. Now align the second audio with the second video. Remove the part of the second audio that you don't need on the left side. Use the Q shortcut. Now align the videos and add fade in and fade out. This is how my video sounds now. This keyframe technique is excellent for making videos or text stand out. Now I will apply it to elevate my video. Click on Effects and then in the Lens section select the Blur effect and add it to the timeline. Position the effect below the video you want to emphasize. The effect should start just before the video begins and continue for a moment after its end. Now adjust the Blur and add a keyframe a few frames after the beginning. Add a keyframe a few frames before the end of the effect. 
then reduce the blur intensity to zero at the end and at the beginning. This method can be very useful if you want to create an interesting intro video. After editing, my video looks like this. I just discovered this cool trick and I couldn't wait to share it with you. Now in CapCut for desktop adding keyframes allows you to easily adjust their positions, resulting in a dynamic change in the animation. Applying this trick is handy when you want to selectively lower specific sections of the music, such as during voiceover moments. Click on audio and add a keyframe a few frames before the voiceover and a few frames after it. At the moments where the voiceover begins and ends, lower the volume to zero. This is how the audio in my video sounds at the moment. This is what the video looks like after the changes. Discover the magic of seamless video editing with CapCut. With a multitude of tools at your fingertips, your creativity can soar to new heights. If you are happy with the outcome, zoom and pan effect in video editing engage viewers by guiding attention and adding dynamic interest to the footage. To create a zoom effect, add a keyframe where you want the zoom to begin. At the point where you want the zoom to end, adjust the scale and reposition the video. This is what the zoom effect I created looks like. To create a pan effect add a keyframe, then after a few frames adjust the scale and position the video to follow the mouse cursor or person. This is what the pan effect I created looks like now. To create a zoom out effect you need to add a keyframe and then after a few frames to set the scale to 100%, after that return the video to its original position. Using sound effects is a simple trick that will improve any video, transition or animation. Now I will show you a simple example. Add any sticker to the timeline and then select the bounce scene animation. Click on the audio tab and then find the pop effect that matches your animation. Add it to the timeline and then align it with your sticker. Sound effects can give your video a professional touch. Here is how my video looks after editing. Thanks for watching and don't forget to visit the link in the video description to download the latest version of CapCut.